I mean, I'll try and simplify this. Zambia has 10 provinces, okay? Um, nine provinces, Zesco is present there exclusively. It means 100% from the 100% of the revenues from the nine provinces goes to Zesco. CC exists in one province where Zesco also exists. If you look at the revenues on the Copper Belt, 80 to 85 percent of, of those revenues go to Zesco. CEC remains with about 15 percent of the revenues on the Copper Belt. So who is dominant here, mm. CEC or Zesco? Zesco today has been given the role of what is called, called a system operator. Now a system operator decides which generation they want to supply power to the country. Mm. Okay, which lines should be should, should, should be connected to the system and those sorts of things. Now, that obviously makes them such a dominant player, such that if you're talking about open access in good faith or common carrier in good faith, you should actually be starting with Zesco. Um, let me address the issue of uh, exclusivity, because I've heard a lot of this conversation about CEC having exclusivity yeah. on the Copper Belt. CEC has never had exclusivity on the Copper Belt. The only one that can give you exclusivity is actually government. Government has never given CEC a concession. CEC does not have a concession, has never had a concession for the Copper Belt. What actually existed, and I think people have to be very, very honest and truthful when they mm. present this, this argument. So when the bulk supply agreement was signed, CEC and Zesco agreed. And this thing was uh, basically a requirement by government because at the time, uh, Zesco had excess power, Zambia had excess power. So the government told CEC, you CEC, you are not allowed to buy power anywhere else as long as Zesco has got power. This is in the agreement, or was in the agreement. Okay? So CEC was not allowed to buy power from anybody else other than Zesco. 